I know, I know, I know. I didn't set this up during the the sped up intro there, but um oops. But you can see I did set it up. At least you know I shuffled the cards this time. That's your boy Raven. And how are you on this beautiful Friday morning? Thank goodness it's Friday, right? The end of the week. I'm looking forward to a nice long weekend. I'm all kind of excited. I got a couple new Swiss Army knives coming in. A couple of them that uh, I'd kind of been wanting for a long time. And um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I've also been kind of thinking about doing a separate series of videos just for, you know, social media purposes, I guess. I don't know yet, though. I'm still kind of mulling all that over. Uh, it won't be tarot related. Uh, I thought about a couple uh, titles. Uh, let's see, uh, Random Shit with Raven. Uh, Deep Thoughts from a Shallow Mind. Just stuff like that, like uh, just turn the can camera on and randomly say things like, you know, I wonder, why not toe jam with peanut butter? And just get that kind of far away look like I'm thinking. <laughs> more, A little more humorous content to kind of balance out uh, what has been an intense week. And the week is not over yet. But this weekend, and I think the next week coming is probably going to be pretty intense too. So, if you're watching this right now, my warning is strap in, prepare yourself, get ready. You know, start listening to your soul a lot more often. Be always ready to listen to that first and foremost, because you're going to need it. You're going to need that kind of advice. seeing some pretty interesting stuff happening too, aren't we? If you're not seeing it, it's because you're not paying attention to the right sources. In fact, what you need to be doing is digging around a little bit. So, who is our guide for today? Oh boy. Okay, we've had Fenrir. We've had We've had Loki in the past. I think Loki came up during last week's reading. So we started off with one of Loki's children, Fenrir. We're ending it on one of Loki's children. And yes, the goddess and realm hold the same exact name. As for the, as for the realm of hell, hell is a, a place of rest where people who die of old age or sickness, that's where they go. So a majority of people in ancient Scandinavia, that was their that was their destined afterlife. And it's just a place of rest. Now what that place of rest looks like depends on the source you read. Uh, some say it's a very beautiful meadow, it's very nice, you know, not such a bad place. Others say it's kind of cold and a little dark. Sort of like a uh, Scandinavian night, but let's see what it said. Uh, what what does hell bring us today? By the way, if any of this uh, doesn't sit well with you, I get it. Just uh, you know, you can turn the video off. No harm, no foul. So. So just like Loki, you know, things aren't always as they seem. You know, like with the death card, it's the end of one thing, the beginning of another. Uh, you're going to keep moving through difficult circumstances this weekend. You may need to rest at the end of a long project or a difficult time. And you may receive an inheritance. Some of you probably will. I mean, on a long enough timeline, you know, today's world, every day someone passes. Someone passes from this world into the next. But, the thing I've been learning lately, and learning it pretty well, is that they're still always with us. I know that's kind of a, it's kind of a weird way to start this reading, but, 
That tone is a little on the dark side, but don't worry, because, shoot, not that one. Here we go. We've got a wombat. I don't know about you, but I'm looking at this thing and thinking there's nothing bat-like about it. In fact, I just want to boop its snoot. But it says, be at home. Now, we got from this card that we may need to take a rest. This weekend's probably a good idea to take a rest, and, and I don't see anything uh, wrong with that. We could probably all use one. It's it's been a it's been kind of a weird week. Right there at home, right? Wherever that is, whatever that looks like to you. You know, just kind of be at home. I know one thing. I'm going to be heading out this weekend, probably Sunday. And I'm going to go out for a nice long walk. And uh Probably get a little more footage, just of uh, various things. Don't know yet, but we're definitely going to be finding out, because I do need to get out there again. I don't like being cooped up too much, and uh, here lately, it's been either go to work or come back home, and nothing in between. Yeah, here we go. So. Okay, so Home Sweet Home is always available if you recognize that well-being is the truth of life. Wombat Spirit reminds you to be truly at home in the world. You need to find comfort within your own skin. Do this by accepting all your experience without judgment, through a deep honesty and love of life. If you feel the freedom to, when you feel the freedom to be yourself, you can begin to truly feel at home in your life with your family and tribe. Right now, you're in a beautiful place where you can hang up the coat of your identity and settle into a true sense of home and well-being, understanding that all is well, everything you do from this place rings true in harmony with spirit. I've said this before, uh, anytime you exercise, you need, a you need a time of rest and recuperation. Uh, of course, the older you get, a little more time you're going to need. You're not going to like it, but that's how it is. With this particular card, we're being told that we really need to be at home with ourselves. Time to take a rest from all of the stuff that you put on to make up your identity. And just be you. Unapologetically you. That means first figuring out who you really are. When you look at the mirror, you're not what you see. What was it Yoda said? I think it was luminous beings we are, not this crude matter. We're all just body inside spirit. But we need to be listening to that spirit a little more. Let spirit kind of take the wheel and guide you around. It makes sense. So, for past, present, and future, we have the hanged man. We have a nine of coins in our present, and we have a six of coins in our future. And for this weekend, I'm going to call this one Friday, Saturday, and Sunday here. And so far, it's looking like you're moving all your sacrifice, all your hard work, about to pay off. That'll allow you to be a little more generous with someone else. But first, you gotta, you kind of have to bask in it a little bit, just a little bit. Have a plan to move forward. So, from here, from here, we're looking at, uh, you know, I do see something in the realm of finance. I'm not gonna lie. And the reason I see that is because it's only when we have kind of like more than what we need that we're able to give, you know, we're able to help someone else out. And we have put in, we do it a little more carefully as well, but we sacrifice a lot to get here. Now after that, we can look at what we have, we can say, okay, I'm, I'm good at this point, 
Maybe I can help out some family, some friends. But I'm going to have to be very careful about it. Be careful and be measured about that. Uh, let's see. You know what? How about it? How about we do it a little bit of longer form? So we'll say this is this is kind of where you are uh, mentally, physically. You have the sun, the emperor, and the two of cups. Now physically, physically it looks like things are going a okay. You're kind of uh, on top of your game. You're you're in that world. Physically, you're doing all right, and that causes you to have partnerships with others that are that are blossoming right now. So far, pretty good, pretty good message. So, spiritually, we see that we see this. That's uh, that three of swords is never good. That's you're in things that are just breaking your heart. We do have a nine of wands, which. If you notice, he's got a lot of fire behind him. That's what every wand is. It's fire. He's holding on to one, but he's kind of looking out and his head's bandaged. And I wonder what the wonder what that's all about. But we do have a page of pentacles here. So it looks like spiritually we we could be using a we could be doing a lot better. Because we're we're in places of heartbreak right now. It things are just kind of killing us. And that's the, th that's the thing that's kind of making us wonder. I, I'd be willing to bet he's kind of looking like, is this really worth it? Because I bet, I'd be willing to bet some of us are asking that question right now. I know I have a couple of times. But the good part is we do have the strength, stamina, and capability. That's what this represents. We do have that strength to keep standing. And we can we can still focus on our aspirations. So there's good news. It's you've got to take yourself out of those things that are that are killing you. You've got to take yourself out of those things that are breaking your heart right now. If you're experiencing uh, multiple sadnesses and where you are spiritually, well, it's time to get into that thing that really just kind of makes your light go you know makes you light up makes you shine that's really what you want so getting yourself into that place remember this guy's this guy's a uh, this guy looks like he might be a, a pretty good guy and he is he's sitting on that throne he's ruling he's ruling pretty uh pretty hard. You can see the armor underneath that rope. He's a hard ass. He really is. And sometimes you have to be. You can't always rule with such a soft touch. And you've got you've got this point where when I look at these cards together, they're telling you money can't buy happiness, but they can move you forward. Really Honestly, with money, money is not good. It's not evil. Actually, money's pretty good. Don't let's let's not get it twisted. Money is a pretty awesome thing. Money is basically fuel. It's energy. And the more of it you have, the more you can do with it. And whatever that looks like to you is completely up to you. Let me put it to you this way: If you become a billionaire tomorrow, I'm not going to pretend to tell you what to do with your money. You can blow it all on cars, clothes, a big nice house, and whatever you want. That, that's fine by me. I don't care. Or you can uh, take a few million, swing it on over to uh, a homeless shelter, and just say, here, here's a few million. Uh, how else can I help? You could do stuff like that. That's perfectly fine, too, and I have no problem with that. You can decide, hey, you know what, I'm going to keep working and I'm just going to leave that sitting in the bank for when I retire. You can do that too. I don't care what you do with it. But what it does, what money does, is it amplifies who you really are. So if you're a good person underneath and you're just wanting to help the world, it, it amplifies that. If you're a garbage human being, it amplifies that. That's just how money works. So let's see what the cosmos has to say here. 
So we're going to begin with the, I love this card, the Courageous Peony. This one, I've said it before, this, when, when this, when this particular flower blooms, it does not care about the tulip uh, a little ways down, it doesn't care about the rose bush next door. It just shows you what is. Now this is a great card because this is where you let yourself be seen. So not only are you, you don't have to signal it out to the world when you're at home with you, when you end this whole charade of you dressing yourself up in an identity. I don't care whether that's a, uh, you finally just, you decide, you know what, I'm not going to go out in that, I'm not going to dress up in this uh, suit today. And I'm not going to make myself look as hideous as possible. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time making myself look, you know, like I'm dressed in the nines. Because today I'm feeling like a t-shirt and jeans kind of person and I just want to go out there and say hello. People will see that. Now if you sit there and put on this super loud identity, people will see that too. But you know what they won't see? You. They only see what you put on. Yeah, people judge based on appearance and it, at times it sucks because you don't get past page one. But here's the thing, you and I don't get past page one either. We also have activated earth here. This is, you really need to trust where you're led to go. It's true. And I, I know exactly where I'm being led to go to the, this weekend. It may not be a physical place, but it may be somewhere uh, mental, possibly spiritual. So where, whatever that looks like to you, go there. Then you have the void also known in Norse culture as Genungagap now this is where you stop because it, it also says you need to embrace winter that means embracing those parts of you that have died you need to accept that those parts have died for a reason and like I say don't look back because it's not the way you're going this is where, it's also called the Great Cosmic Womb. It's the very thing from which everything came from. And it's the very thing to which everything will go back. Including you. So. We kind of move from a, a very beautiful flower to this very beautiful garden to nothingness. But right now in your spiritual uh, set here that's probably what you're feeling some of us can feel a little spiritually empty at times sometimes we don't fear as much as we believe in something I don't care whether it's Buddha or um, uh, the god and goddess in Wicca or Odin and the, the Norse pantheon uh, Zeus and the Greek pantheon God and Jesus, Allah, Yahweh, whatever. Some days we are not feeling it. And you, you're probably not feeling it this weekend. And that's why we need those little retreats. We need to go back to that which lights us up. Okay? I'm hoping that makes sense to you. Because I think we could all use it. Now, what whispers do we have? We have Avaz. So right here for from the mental uh, part definitely a little a little bit of a death there but also a rebirth we are getting a lot of death and rebirth in this one and I'm thinking a lot of us are about to undergo some pretty interesting stuff um, but you've got to have that in order to experience new cycles. Everything happens in cycles. Everything. Including that which happens in nature. So, just remember that this particular card, yes, it's representing the the passing of a warrior. However, new warriors will be there. They will learn from that one's mistakes. They will learn from his successes as well. 
So it's important to have a legacy that you can pass down. That's something to think about, and that that coming up in your in your uh, mental arena here makes a lot of sense. Finally, we also we have Perthro. Perthro, that's a dice cup, and we're always taking chances with that dice cup. But the thing is, you've been here before. In terms of body, you've been here before. You know how to deal with the problems that are associated with this, and there may be some minor physical problems but you've been there before you know how to deal with that roll the dice take a chance you're you're actually in a pretty good position to do that finally we have othala now this is this one's about heritage remember it's pointing right at hell it's pointing right at awas where it mentioned that we may receive an inheritance now we're looking at money up here so suddenly this could this could look like the the death of your former self, this could be the death of a, a loved one, but you're going to come into this, or you're going to have a plan to come into this. What happens, hey, look at crypto. Crypto's been kind of on the uptick lately. It, it kind of dipped a little bit, and now it's kind of ticking back up. What happens if crypto explodes this weekend? Are you holding any? Because if you're not, it's probably a good idea to start. <laughs> I would I I am not a financial advisor, but I do recommend everybody hold at least a little crypto. You know, throw throw about you know 20, 25 bucks in there. Um, I'm still digging XRP despite what's been going on with Ripple. Uh, but Ripple, even though they're being dragged through a lawsuit, they've been handing the SEC their bohunkus on a silver platter, going fuck off. So. This one points to inheritance or heritage, which is the Othala rune that a lot of people think is so evil, but it, trust me, it's not. Um, with it being in your spiritual center here, we got that uh, that page of pentacles, your dreams, your aspirations, that's what it creates. All this stuff together creates a legacy. This is... I'm, I am seeing like legacies right now, financial legacies, uh, personal legacies, uh, stuff like that. Those are being uh, savaged and destroyed, but remember to stand firm. That's what, that's what this card is telling me is to stand firm because quite frankly, every one of you should be proud of who you are. But who are you? This weekend, it's time to figure that out. Find out who you are. Be at home with it. Look, some of our ancestors did some pretty terrible things. That is not something I'm denying. So, and some of those same ancestors did very wonderful things. We really shouldn't discount the wonderful they did over the terrible they did. The thing is, we don't repeat the terrible things. We take the good things and we move them forward. We don't have to lionize them. Oh, you don't, you don't have to be quick to defend that. That's fine. That's life. We're human beings and we're flawed. Okay? But here's the thing, taking on the worst traits of others and then redirecting them onto someone else does not help matters. There is no justice in that. So if, if my neighbor came in and blasted my door off its hinge, I'm still not justified going over there and blasting his off its hinge or blasting him through it. I'm not justified in that. I don't care how bad it is. There are other means of dealing with it. Now, of course, if you blast the door off my hinge and comes in uninvited, then we got a different we got a different can of problems there. But what I'm what I'm telling you is, the revenge trips are not going to help you. So that may be a. Uh, I'm thinking that's a that's a good point to ditch. But anyway, 
I hope this now let me let me sum up real quick everything has to end everything has to begin again if you found yourself financially ruined don't worry have a plan to come back work on it mentally and physically it looks like you're doing all right but it's spiritually where you really need to work you know find that thing that lights up your heart follow it listen to your spirit a little more you're going to be just fine and remember the dreams that you have examine those how can you make them happen realistically because those are what someone else is going to be picking up but you have to be at home with you first you have to accept who you really are and some things about you may have to die you may have to rip off the rose colored glasses that you're viewing the world with otherwise the, the world will rip them off for you and if you're not ready to deal with that that could be disastrous I hope that this resonated with you I hope you get something from this and I hope it carries you through your weekend and I hope you do absolutely wonderfully this weekend you know what we'll meet back up on Monday how's that we'll do another one we'll see how it goes as always I love you I thank you for joining me and having your cup of tea with me or coffee whatever you drink and as always as Raven Wolfgar saying shine on <laughs>